So, there's a few things you need to get before you go to the store for the first time. And that, well, before you get the Rusco, you need to get your gasoline. You saw that we took out the, the warning light earlier. You need to get your gasoline. You need to put that bad boy in there. And then you need to get your hammer or Um And there's an important reason why. The hammer of Perkele will be needed to get the uh, the wheels from uh, the manor, which is the only way that we can get the wheels. Make sure that's down all the way. Hmm? Okay. Uh, it's the only way to get the hammer, or the wheels, in the start. Ah, fuck me. Ugh. I've driven this tractor a thousand times. Let me... There we go. Okay, so. Hammers needed to get the wheels. The jerry can is for getting um, the Rusco. Because the Rusco starts off with just enough gasoline to get us um, to the store but not actually uh, drive anywhere else so we're gonna get the Rusco first and then and then we are going to grab ourselves the ever cherished wheels you ever say something and then lose track of what the fuck it was that you're saying? Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna cut out a decent bit of this drive, unless something interesting happens, uh, because there, you guys don't need to see me drive all the way through. That's just unnecessary. So I'm gonna show you guys a little. I'm gonna cut back here real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys a little uh, tip and trick that I learned, uh, and that's that if you take the train track route kind of drive on this side so that you don't potentially get hit by the the train um you want to you want to drive on this little side piece because then you can keep going at three uh at at gear three is there a fucking third gear <laughs> then you can go at third gear uh if you go down there you have to stick at uh second gear or third third gear in a low ratio and that's just, nobody wants to do that. Um, but you come over here, you go into third gear, you just ride on this edge, that re uh, reduces your risk of getting hit by the train, which will kill you every time. Pardon. Now luckily, I have permadeath off right now. Uh, and the game may call me a coward, but I call that just being smart. So, you take the train, and you go over to the road, and uh, there will be something else that I want to, I gotta look for it. But there's, a, there's the RPM gauge, uh, the rotations per minute, uh, that you should have for the car. <laughs> because right now, all we have in the garage is the clock. But I was doing some research last night uh, while I was playing uh, for myself. And I found out that the... Oh, there it is. See, that would have killed me. In a heartbeat, that would have killed me. Oof. Good thing I missed that. Oh, and this guy also would kill kill me. Um fucking asshole. And I don't think Yeah, this is one of the advantages of the minimap mod is that you have a permanent map that tells you where you are. And again, I know it's cheating, but I don't care. I was going to say this earlier. I, I get really nervous about modding my games, but I have the perception that games should be fun. And if a game requires a little bit of mods to be fun, then fucking do it to it. If I don't personally care, like I like the difficulty of this game, don't get me wrong, which is why I haven't put anything in that really reduces the difficulty of this game. But at the same time I also 
like to be able to know where I'm going and what I'm doing and how to do it. Uh, I like not having to fight too terribly much because everything else that I haven't modded is already a big fight. Okay, so you've got this little, I think it's a rally track, like a practice rally track. And I think somewhere over here is, and I've never done this before. This is something I've never done. I've never found the RPM. Uh, and I might need to come back here later with my tool set to, to get it. But somewhere around here, it said near this, near hairpin turn is a Setsuma GT that's broken down and in that Setsuma GT catch me rallying in the tractor uh, in that Setsuma GT is the RPM meter don't forget when you're going uphill at, at the very least in the tractor you don't really have to worry about this in the Rusco but when you're going uphill downshift thank you to my daddy for teaching me that one said it was here am i missing am i am i am i dumb am i am i just stupid where's the gt it said it was here near the hairpin turn i would assume that would be the g the hairpin turn that deep turn right there hold on I apparently have to do some research did I just like waste my fucking time I might have just wasted my fucking time Ugh. all right that's fine the wiki is saying that I need to buy it from uh, Flatari's catalog, or from the from the catalog. Uh, so I think that might. I was hoping I could get a free one, because there are things that you can like scavenge. The wheels being quite possibly the most notable one. I have the parking brake on. Gosh darn it. Um. But I guess the the tachometer is not one of them, and that's a little upsetting. That's a little little sad. But such is life. All right, uh, I'll probably cut back in when we get closer to town. It's a damn cold night. Trying to figure out this life. Won't you take me by the hand, take me somewhere new? I don't know who you are, but I, I'm with you. God, do you remember that song? Who wrote that song? I, I don't even fucking. I, it's not Kelly Clarkson. I know. I, I'm pretty sure. Let me be on my phone while driving. But now I gotta figure it out. This is why you don't text and drive, kids. Oh, God. I went off the road. Oh, it's Avril Lavigne. God damn it. That's why I love it. <laughs> I I used to I used to be a huge fanboy of uh, Miss Lavigne. Um... I, and, and I found out, like, uh, Taylor was, too. I don't listen to much of her new stuff, but, like, her older stuff, I was hella into. Like, I kept getting made fun of for it. <laughs> because people kept saying that I had a crush on Avril Lavigne, which I did. And, you know, she was, I mean, back in the early 2000s, like, that was, she was the shit, you know? Meanwhile, like, my brother is sitting here, or uh, my sibling, they're sitting there like, I don't know, I don't know what the, who's the, who is the modern day 
like go to crush like for a lot of for a lot of young girls it was like justin timberlake and nsync and backstreet boys like that was the boy bands if you will um i know uh the ones that eventually became you know your punk fans their their big one was blink 182 uh and gerard way but who's the who's the modern day equivalent of like avril lavigne and and in sync i i don't know i don't i don't listen to a lot of like newer music um just because i i i i've gotten into some of it but i i'm kind of i'm kind of stuck in my ways i know i know the music i like and uh it's not that i refuse to listen to new songs you know i i had uh adam levine on my playlist for a long while i, I like maroon 5 uh, though even that's you know a little bit old school i guess uh sunflower by post malone <laughs> um ajr that that's that's a new band i hope really uh showing my age here on the whole song appreciation Ooh. but yeah I, i'm kind of curious who who are the new the new uh hang their posters up in your wall, have all of their albums type deals for the modern day. If anyone if anyone that's uh, a little bit more in tune with the younger generation can let me know. I think that'd be uh, interesting. And then maybe I can maybe I can get some new music that I can listen to and enjoy. Gasoline takes a little while to pump up, so I understand why people i.e. gray cut that part out of the videos um i was actually while i was driving over here i realized uh truly how much people cut out of their videos all right uh when you get into the store what you're gonna want to do is pick up one motor oil one coolant three brake and clutch fluids and an alternator belt you're also gonna want uh what are we at 831 you're also gonna want a car battery I've since unplugged my phone for the night uh, you're also probably gonna want to pick up spark plugs and fuse and batteries normally I'd pick up a lot more than that but for right now I don't have a lot of money uh, I also pick up cigarettes it's a bad habit no one should do it in real life so don't um, oh 1600 though that is with gas that is with filling up my uh my jerry can there we're gonna oh shit i was gonna come back for all of this stuff god damn it all right well i guess this means that i don't necessarily have to come back for it uh i just need to be careful when driving the tractor so that i don't let any of this stuff fall out and then i can put it in the rusco why did i close the door when I was just gonna have to open it again in a couple of minutes. What is wrong with me? All right. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend you pick up those. Once you get back to the house, you put that battery on the charger immediately, and I'll show you how to do that once we get back there. Um, this battery right here, because the battery that you have, hate to say it, it's kind of shit. Um, and that's not me being prejudiced. I know how important a good battery is. I've had my battery die multiple times on me. In real life. So I, I know. I am aware. 